Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's six o'clock. No, it's not. It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. It's time for another video. Today I'm back with probably one of the most popular videos on the channel. That's right. I'm back with another map test. And this is the one that a lot of people have been asking that I do. This is the map test all on Pro Caps by myself and Lloyd Barnes. Now, if you don't know what Pro Caps is, what rock have you been living under for the last uh, two or three weeks? Pro Caps was created and invented by Lloyd Barnes and marketed through Murphy's Magic. It is a reimagining of the dynamic coins or the nickels to dime. If you know those nickels to dime where you make a stack of coins appear, that's what Pro Caps is. Well, uh, what we have here is a reimagining of this where Lloyd has taken the dynamic coins trick and he's uh, basically, in essence, built it into bottle caps, right? Um, so it looks more organic. It looks more real. Um, you know, the point that Lloyd makes on the trailer is very true, which is you don't know what these little brass caps are. But if you use a, a uh, bottle cap, then, you know, it kind of becomes uh, a lot more organic. Now... Uh, if you want to see a full review show special on this, you can go check out the review show special that I did last Sunday. Because last Sunday I did a review show special on the Pro Caps. I included a bunch of live performance footage. I also broke down absolutely everything about Pro Caps, including the criticisms on the Magic Cafe and addressing it head on. And the reason why I was able to do that is because I was involved in the project. Now, I was asked by Murphys and, and Lloyd to do a full um, sort of uh, breakdown of the, uh, you know, I, I created a lot of the routines on the project. So there's 11 routines. I created all of those routines. I did all the live performances. I did the tutorial. I did this because I really believed in the project. When Lloyd told me about Pro Caps, I remember turning around to him and saying, that's one of the best ideas I've ever seen. I would like to get involved. And so there's been nobody in the country, nobody in the world that has performed with Pro Caps longer than me. And uh, I know the reactions it gets from going out and performing this to real people over and over and over again. Now, uh, what you're about to see right now is the map test for the Pro Caps. So I've told Matt nothing about this. And what you're going to see is me performing Pro Caps to Matt. So I'm going to perform uh, a couple of different routines. I'm going to I'm going to go through a few different things that you can actually do with the Pro Caps gimmick. I'm going to talk about um, uh, I'm, I'm going to because one of the things that I love about Pro Caps is that you can structure it together into an act. I go through 11 routines on the project and I, I I'm going to try and just string three or four routines together on this video so I can kind of uh, show you how you can string this together into an act. The other thing that I talk about on the review show special that I also talk about on the project is how you can... Um, uh, how uh, the focus with pro caps, or at least the routines I do with it, is never on the cap. It's never on the stack of coins. I routine a lot of this together by having the coins examined at the beginning, having the coins examined at the end, and then I go through all of the different routines. But I'm switching the stack in and out, which is very different to how you normally see nickels or dimes or pro or uh, dynamic coins being used. So it kind of elevates the routines, in my opinion, because they're kind of more structured and there's more of a routine to it as opposed to. Look, I've got a cap. Hey, look, I've got a cap. So I'm going to perform this for you right now. I want you to have a look at this. This is um, this is the Matt test. You're going to hear exactly what Matt thinks, unfiltered opinions, live performance, and reactions from Matt. Here we go. So I'm here with Matt. Hello, hey, Matt. It's another day. It's another Matt test. Whoop, whoop. Are you excited? Yeah, man. Always. And I know you love coin magic. I do. So this is a coin trick. In fact, I might even do more than one coin trick for you if you're lucky. Okay. Sound exciting? Yeah. Okay, cool. They're not like really weird American coins. No, these are English coins. <laughs> I actually borrowed them off... Oh, there you go. I actually borrowed them off Jack because I had no 10 pence in. <laughs> Didn't I, Jack? And you all took the persona over to carry and change. <laughs> You're the only person in the world left that carries money, so I had no choice. Hold your hand out for me. Um, there's four 10 pences. Uh, you can check them out and make sure they're okay. Make sure they're all good. Yeah, right. Like 10 pences. If you happy? Not, they're in my pocket, they should be fine. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 they're normally really interesting, but these are the same Well, I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they are what they appear to be. And I've got this glass that I also borrowed from Jack from his uh, his desk, and you can check those out, check that out and make sure that's okay. Yeah, it's is it okay? every day, it's just an office glass. Yeah, and then I've got just a... Uh, don't worry about that bit. I've also got a little vodka. Cool. <laughs> Is the budget low? It's very low. <laughs> glass, 10 pence, <laughs> bottle cap. We've, we've changed we've, out of Jack's pocket a glass and a bottle cap. <laughs> the silver dollars are locked away. We've pawned the silver dollars. We've we spent we're, all the money this month. We have. We're, we're on a, we're, this is map test on a budget, <laughs> is what, what this is. This is map test on a budget. <laughs> but 
I can still make magic happen even though we have no money here. So okay, <laughs> I'm gonna. There's a trick in magic called the coins through the table. The idea is that you push the coins through the table. The, the, the name yeah, the, I've yeah, seen you do that obvious. before. You've seen me do it, right? Yeah. Now the problem with this trick is you don't know when the coin is going through the table. Because you just have to assume, I, you know, I put my hand on the table, I come out with a coin. You don't know the second it happens. Okay. So the reason I've got this glass is because I thought we could use the glass so you can see the exact moment that the coin goes through the table. Okay. Let me show you what I mean. So we've got these four coins, yeah? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to just cover them up with the bottle cap and put them there, yeah? And okay. I'm going I'm to take the glass and put it underneath. And I'm going to get the glass right underneath the, uh, underneath the bottle cap. And I want you to listen, listen. Did you hear that? Now that's actually <laughs> the first time we've gone right through. Should we do it again? Drop it in. Okay, cool. So look, this time you can do it yourself. I want you to put your finger like that. And when I say slowly push down, do it now. Perfect, that's great. <laughs> that's two. Going on under there. Well, do it again. Put them in. Okay, watch. Do you want to press this next one? Yeah. You? Okay, you ready? Not yet, not yet. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's a solid table, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it one last time. Drop, drop them in. In fact, do me a favor. Yeah. What I want you to do, take the glass, put it underneath the table, try to line it up with where the bottle cap is. Try to line it up with the bottle cap. Okay, are you ready? Are you there? I think right, so. Right, now take your other hand. You're gonna to learn to be a magician. Where's the bottle, where's the, where's the, there, is it there? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna push on three. One, two, three. It's done. No, seriously, look. What? No, it's done. Because now that's the last coin gone. They've all gone. And the reason they've all gone, you're not going to believe this. Bring the cup out. Tip them out. That's all four. Right through the table. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's it's confusing. I get this. Look, I'm going to put the uh, the cap there. Yes, yeah. Okay, this this is difficult. But I'm going to try and do it. Watch. I'm going to take the coins and put them there. Listen. Did you see that? Yeah. Look. <gasps> Through the table. Oh my god. Let's see if we can go one step further. Whoa! Well, hold on. <laughs> No, we're going to go one step further. I'm excited. We're going to keep I've moving. I've got questions. <laughs> Don't worry. I, you'll, you'll have your time. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm going to put these here. Don't move. You got them? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Say For go. What? Say go. Go. So there's three, <laughs> there's like a couple of tricks there. There's a couple of tricks. The coins through the table is a separate thing to the coins through the hand, but it's, it's two routines off the project. You okay? No. No. What's the matter? Hello? No, I'm here. <laughs> this, is, this is the mat test, not the mat stare. Right, you get that, right? <laughs> I'm trying to collate my thoughts. <laughs> Normally it doesn't take you so long. What the fuck just happened? I, I pushed coins through a table. No, I know you. I've seen you push coins through a table before. Yeah. I know there's an element of, obviously, it's like sleight of hand pushing coins through a table. 
I like the I, flash. I can vibrate my hand so fast it just passes through. I watched them. You did it right. He did right there. He put the cap on top of the coins. Yeah. It didn't move. He didn't touch them. He did his slight a hand thingy underneath the table, whatever the fuck it was he was doing. Right, fine. But the last coin, you did it. Under Great the trick, good skill, slight a hand under the table, But whatever. you did the last coin yourself, you put the cup but, under the table. But then they weren't here. No, they weren't. So normally when you're doing that stuff, it's like misdirection and all that stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. So you've got coins in your hand you do your misdirection stuff all of a sudden they end up down here yep and this hand's doing whatever putting them in your pocket <laughs> like, i love how that's matching <laughs> just but they did they weren't so the most amazing thing to you isn't that the coins went through the table or through your hand it's the fact that they weren't there afterwards because what, I, yeah, let me, let where me, did they go? Well, let me show you what I mean. Can I? Can I do one more? Would that be okay? Um, would that be all right for you? With you? Yeah. Okay. Let me get. Let me get some bits and pieces here. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, do you want to just uh, take out the aces out of that? Can you do that for me? They can't physically go through my hand. That's not possible. Take what the aces. It's just take the aces out. That's one. So it's interesting that you say this. So the most impressive part of this to you was that the fact that the coins vanished, right? They actually vanished. They actually Normally, vanished. there's from like, underneath from underneath the cap, right? Normally, there's slight okay. hand. There's various different aspects of you know okay. misdirection so, and stuff, but there wasn't any misdirection because okay. the cap was there the whole time. So what about if we did this in reverse and we had something go underneath the cap? What? Well, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to I'm going to put the cap right there on the uh, on the card box. Yeah. There's nothing in it. No, I just showed you. Okay. I'm going to put that there. Is that fair? You okay with that? Yeah. I'll put the four coins in the corners of the mat, and these are the aces that you got out, right? Yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. So I'm going to make that. You know, you've seen me do a trick before where they all go into the same card, right? Yeah. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make these coins vanish one at a time from underneath the cards when I do this. We do that again. This one. You know what's going to happen, right? You got to you know you got to know where to watch. Yeah? No sleeves, no false thumbs. <laughs> no false thumbs? Well, yeah, Is that know. a thing? <laughs> I love you. Bless. What? Bless. Is he taking the pit? I think so. Ne ne <laughs> <laughs> Next one, right? Watch. Sometimes I forget how little you know. There's such a thing as false thumbs. I thought you were taking the piss. No, you can get false thumbs. Really? Yeah. You can get anything in magic. You can get sponge cocks. A false thumb. A sponge chicken. Cock. Sponge penis. Oh, a penis. Yeah, so that's one. <laughs> you like a male this is chicken. The... <laughs> <laughs> Will you watch the last coin? <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to make these vanish. I I'm still trying to figure out what happened the first time. So the four coins have gone, right? <clears throat> yeah. Nothing in the hand. I showed you there was nothing under there, right? No! See, that's appearing, right? Which is a totally different thing to Matt to disappearing. You see, you found it really impressive when, when they vanished, right? Vanishing looks like this. Do me a favour, take the cap, hold it from above like that. And just cover up all the coins. Push down as hard as you can. With your other hand, snap your fingers. Make the most magical noise you know. Blue, 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 blue. That's very magical. <laughs> Good job. Do you know where they go? Back under the cards. Can I look at that? Yeah, Krishna.
Silence does that bend on that line. You okay, Mo? That's fucked up. <laughs> in it though. It's something. I was fully convinced <clears throat> they were in there. But they're not. And then when I said, can I look at that? And he went, yeah. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? You see, I find this really interesting because during the course of these last three routines, right, I've asked you to look at a pack of cards. I've asked you to look at four coins. I've asked you to look at a glass. I've asked you to look at all of this stuff, right? And yet, at no point are you suspecting the coins. At no point are you suspecting the bottle cap. All you're suspecting are the cards. And you, you asked about the glass. And you talked about sleight of hand. Why are these objects not interesting to you? Not that there's anything up with these objects, but why are these not interesting to you? That's what I want to know. What do you mean? Why, <laughs> why, you know, you're trying to figure this out, right? And you're like, oh my God, I thought they were going to be in there and they're not, or oh my God, I thought. Why are these objects not interesting to you? Why have you said at no point, let me look at those four coins again? Let me look at that bottle cap again. Because I looked at them. Yeah. What about if I bought another? I have the coins. I looked at yeah. the coins. What about if I took a different uh let me see if i've got something here uh can i do this i reckon i could do could i do this i suppose i could do this they're just 10 pences it's just like a coke bottle cap that's not coke but yeah um so look and this you didn't want to look at that a little thing that comes off it Okay. Look, there's the coin, right? Can we cover it up? Yeah? Correct? Yeah. The penny, yeah? Yeah. You see the ten pences? Yeah. Watch. <coughs> they change places. Let me do it again. You ready? Watch. We put that there, yeah? Push it towards you. <laughs> you ready? He didn't you move that then when I looked no, under the table, no. right? See the penny? Yeah? Say go. Go. Hold your hand out. What do you want me to do? Just give me something. Well, that's my one for you. I'll you got there, so can you just be careful with them? <laughs> you can't get paid that much. Yeah, true. I mean, have a good look at everything. You know, check everything out. Have a really good look at it. Make sure there's nothing weird about it. But if they're just... Do you see anything that there shouldn't be there? At any point, be completely what are you honest with me. What am I not no, seeing? Okay, right. You're not aware, but there's uh, a forum on the internet where magicians talk about magic, right? And I'm, I'm sure involved in this. Is. I haven't told you who created this. The actual trick was created by Lloyd Barnes. Oh, fuck. I'm going on. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. <laughs> the actual trick was created by Lloyd Barnes. Of course it was. The routines that you're seeing were created by me. Let me. And so I'll, like tell right now, I'll, I'll tell you right now, this is everything that I've used during the course of the act. Genuinely, I've used this glass. Is there anything else that we've used? There was that little piece of uh, plastic ring as well. This is all of the stuff that I've used. I'm telling you right now, one of these items is gimmicked. What? One of these items is special. Only one of them, but one of these items is special. And the, the, the problem that a lot of people have had on this particular forum is it's obvious that when you're performing, you can see that there's an issue with one of these particular objects, either in terms of the look of it, or in terms of the weight of it, or in terms of the design of it. Now, at various different points throughout this trick, you have examined all of these things. Have you perceived a weight difference with any of these things? 
that like is this 10p lighter than a normal 10p no. is this pack of cards or is this particular card heavier is this bottle cap heavier than a normal 10 uh, bottle cap is there anything special about that bottle cap that you know you've looked at it several times or the coins or the penny or the pack of cards or the glass or well, anything that wasn't like. even in it at the start no it wasn't I normally don't get this anal about the map, the map tests and I say, hey, I want you to examine these. But I want to point out to people, because I've performed this, these routines now for a year, that because of how the routines are constructed, there's nothing for somebody to find. It's kind of like a uh, hiding in plain sight type thing. I've looked at them a bunch of times. I was like... I genuinely thought there'd be some kind of like hole or portal to another dimension that he's fucking developed to put into these cards. Oh, he's working on that at the moment. Because like, Trucking. when you put the deck on the table, like they would easily fit inside. Yes, they would. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I was thinking when they disappeared through the cards, that they were going to go in through the cards. But they're not. I don't know how many, like, keep looking at them is not going to change it, is it? Like, there is no hole in those cards. Do any of these objects look unsuspicious? <clears throat> Do it look suspicious? Like, I mean, in what why, way? why am I using a glass? Why am I using a bottle cap to cover up the coins? Why, why am I using... Why do you do anything? Nothing, man. Nothing? But you made them fall through my hand. <laughs> you said press it as hard as you can. Yeah. What am I missing? Uh -huh. So what do you think of it? Let's wrap this mat test up. What do you think of it? fucking magic isn't it <laughs> it's fucking magic like there's no you, that's not possible is it it's not possible you can't push four coins and through i've done my four hand. different tricks there if you think about it first of all i push the coin through the table then i push the coins through your hand then i uh i made the coins disappear under the cap and made them go back underneath the uh, uh underneath the cards and then i finished off by making a penny and some 10 pences change places Just a deck of cards. Just some ten pences. You didn't even use that in all of them. But nope. these are the glasses we have at work, so I know that's a work glass. But what's that going to do? <coughs> I don't know, man. I've absolutely no idea. I'm not a, not a clue. It's actual magic. It's not, but it looks like it, doesn't it? You've made coins go through my hand. Right, which is fair enough. You've made stuff go through stuff before. Like I was saying at the start, you've made things go through things. Coins go through tables, things go through whatever. But then you just... So the coins are there. You push. I see them fall out, right? Yeah. I've seen stuff like that before. That's fair enough. But normally at that point... Like if there's something underneath that, that would you drag that away, you whatever. Something would make that disappear. And then you just went. And they're not there anymore. Which is impossible. That's impossible. Yeah. That's gonna keep me up tonight. So, does it pass the map test? Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Welsh wonder wizard's done it again, ain't he? Yeah, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? I'd like to point out they're my routines. <laughs> it's his trip and they're my routines. Well, both on you. <laughs> no, 
that's that's mental like i don't get it at all there's nothing like and i've said this before like you drip feed me little bits of information about magic just so i think i've kind of got a clue what's going on and then lloyd releases something and it all goes to shit <laughs> no idea what is going on how is that a thing it's not possible so you've left these here which is making me think that you're rubbing it in my face and this is the gimmick. But that's just a pack of cards, isn't it? Yeah. Anything, Jack. Help me. I always say I don't trust a Welshman. Like, uh... But I don't. But that's not helping me in this situation. You've, you've, no looked, you've looked at everything. Everything. Three or four times. <laughs> Nothing's like... But he's like, one of them's a gimmick. I mean, Which one's a gimmick? I think it's the cards. <laughs> Which one's the gimmick? Which one? Which you really one? want to know? <laughs> yes, of course I want to know. Fuck off. Is that real? Mm -hmm. That's the gimmick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How is that a gimmick? It is. It's a bottle cap. Mm -hmm. How is that a gimmick? It is. It can't be. <laughs> it's a Wait there. bottle cap. <laughs> Wait there one minute. Wait there one minute. Yeah. Let me grab something here. Uh, by the way, anybody who's watching this, you shouldn't do what I'm doing here. <laughs> which what are is, you doing? Which is performing like the main route, uh, performing lots of different routines and then saying, figure it out, right? You, you shouldn't do that. It's, it's not the way to go. But look, watch. I've got another bottle cap, by the way. I've got a blue one as well. Watch. If I put the red one over here, yeah? right there in front of you. Take an invisible coin, do that. Take a second invisible coin, do that. Take a third invisible coin, do that. And take a fourth invisible coin from over there and do that. What happens is now I have the 10 pences over there. Now, if I put the 10 pences over there, they're not over there. Watch this, I'm gonna take this one. This is the blue bottle cap. The blue one is slightly different to the red one. I'm gonna put the blue one over there. Now the red one goes and covers up that one over there. Now if I do this and take the first one and do that, and I take the second one and I do that, and I take the third one and do that, and I take the fourth one and do that, it takes a while. But then what I can do is I can actually make them go from over there over to underneath there right now that's kind of interesting but i can actually what go one step further because fuck? if i take the uh the red one here let me just put it there so you know exactly where to watch and i put that on there and i cover that up like that we can see it's on top of the red one now this is quite tricky because if i push hard enough what happens is they go actually right through <laughs> the, uh, which shouldn't happen really but then if I take this one, watch, watch, watch. Fuck. Because look, it, look, this is harder. If I put that there, can you do me a favor? Just cover that up like that with your hand, nice and flat. So you remember when I put them on your hand before and I did this, yeah? Yeah. Don't move because watch, if I do this now and I do this and I snap, what happens is they go through the hand, slowly lift your hand up. What the fuck? Yeah, right there. Um, of course, the weird thing is, that's not the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing is this. If I put the coins in between the two ball caps, look, like there, yeah? try to stop them from falling out and I do this watch this make a fist around all of the bottle caps that's it so you've got a fist around the coins and the bottle caps yes if I do this one finger at a time open up your hand see what happens uh, the coins vanish leaving just two bottle caps the weird thing is if I take the red one right watch the red one if I snap my fingers the red one disappears and hold your hand out because the blue one goes like that and then we're left with absolutely nothing at all any questions So you should never do that, what I just did, because that's what I call the classic routine. I'm not going to get into it too much, but that trick puts the emphasis on the bottle caps. You know I said the bottle cap is regular. You know I said the bottle cap's gimmicked. It is. The reason you don't realise it's gimmicked, Matt, is because all of the routines that I did up until that point, the focus wasn't in the bottle cap. It was like, hey, I've got this bottle cap, and you were joking, and the budget gone down and everything. Yeah. <laughs> but the focus was on the coins. Look, I'm going to make these coins go through the table. The bottle cap is unimportant. The coins are going to go through the table. Then, later on, when I put the coins through the hand, it's not about the bottle cap, it's the coins going through your hand. When I did this trick later on, I'm fully aware that this is kind of like doing the whole, I'm revealing everything at the end, but I'm not really telling you how it works. But when I did this trick and I was making the coins disappear, again, it wasn't about the ball cap, it was about the coins vanishing. And it was about them appearing over here and then having them go back underneath the cards. That routine was about the bottle cap. Look at this bottle cap here, this bottle cap here. I've never performed that in a real world situation because the emphasis is on the bottle caps. If I was ever gonna perform that in a real world situation, I'd do what you I just did to you there and I'd, 
make the bottle caps vanish at the end because I don't want you examining the bottle caps after that routine because the focal point has been on the bottle caps. Every other routine up until the, at that point, you're wanting to examine everything else, but you weren't wanting to look at the bottle caps because the routining behind it was about putting the emphasis on something else. And somebody who performs on stage, you should know that. You should know that you focus the audience's attention on what you want them to look at, and you don't focus their attention on the bits that you don't want them to look at. Yeah. You talked about it yourself a couple of weeks ago on a map test where you made yourself appear on stage, and it was because you were in the wings and nobody was looking and you just appeared or whatever it may be. Right? Yeah, it wasn't me, but yeah, we've made a guy vanish on stage. Well, it's the same thing there. Yeah. I didn't make pay any attention to the bottle caps at all. So because I put no importance on the bottle caps, I even just reached, even though that's the trick that you buy, you get these special bottle caps. I reached over here, I was like, yeah. let's use that. As if it's completely unimportant and it's just Jack left over from Jack's mess. I didn't put any- Jack's mess. I didn't put any importance on it. And because I put no importance on it, nobody else, you didn't put any importance on it. Jack didn't put- he was Well, no, saying, I looked he was at saying everything. That, yes, I, you did, but you only looked at them when I wanted you to look at them. At points, that bottle cap isn't as examinable as it was at the end when you were looking at it and trying to put it through your hands. Uh. But at the point when it wasn't as examinable, there was no emphasis put on it. So to you, it was unimportant. It was making it invisible by painting it red. But at the point when you could examine it, I was like, yeah, this is gimmicked. Have a look at it. But that routine at the end, I had to make it disappear at the end because at the end, they couldn't be examined, but the emphasis was on it. You wanted to examine it, and so I made them disappear so that... Why can't they be examined at the end? Can I look I'm, at one now? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've said too much. I'm not going to say any more. But okay. the point is, um, with this particular routine, it's all about the routining, in my opinion. And, you know, some people have been saying, oh, the bottle cap, it's obvious that the people are going to tell what the bottle caps are or how the trick works because of how they're gimmicked and blah, 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 and oh. Do you even remember what was on top of the bottle cap? Can you remember the logo? Uh, the, oh, it was a recycling logo. Yeah, it was a recycling, did that look out of place at all? No, why would it look out of place? Exactly, that's one of the issues that people have had on the internet. Oh, you shouldn't put a recycling logo on the bottle caps because- Don't all bottle caps have recycling logos on them? Yes, they do. So, yeah, I don't think there's any bottles in here, but yeah. I thought all bottles had been stuck in there. Pretty much most of them do. <clears throat> um, okay. This so mad it, test has gone on quite so a bit. So it's the bottle cap? Yeah, I'm not telling you anymore. It's the bottle cap. You can sleep safely at night now. <laughs> I mean, you still don't know how any of the fucking trick works, but no. you know that it's a special bottle cap. What? Okay. But before I knew that, I had no idea, and it's that proper freaked me out. And it still has. I mean, you, you know that the bottle cap's special. You know that certain card tricks I do, the pack of cards is special. It doesn't stop you from yeah. enjoying the card trick. No, no, not at all. You could show me again in it, it'd still be as impressive, but I just, I don't. Yeah, that, it's weird. It's a good one. That's a really good one. Yeah. It's a really, isn't it? Isn't it? And you know what? Going. It's pretty much self-working. Most of the routines. Oh, you Not keep all of saying them, this. But uh, most of them are. That last one I did was pretty much self-working. So there you go. Apart from making them disappear. Yeah. It's easy. It's easy. You can do For it. you. For anybody. <laughs> if you can put two caps together, you can make it disappear. We'll get into it another time. <sighs> when we start filming the matchumentary. There we go. That's anyway. Epic, Lloyd. Epic. 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 The official, official mat test uh, outcome. Pro caps is epic. Epic, right? Epic. 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 So there you go, guys. That's the Matt test. I found it very interesting what Matt said there, because here's the thing. He freaked out. He was blown away. And Matt, like I say, Matt knows a lot about magic, right? Matt knows, anyway, he doesn't know a lot about magic. I mean, hopefully over the matchumentary, he's going to learn a lot about magic. But right now, his knowledge base is very limited. He's seen a lot of magic and he's not a stupid man. And, and he picks up on certain principles and coin vanishes and so on and so forth. But he's never seen anything like dynamic coins. He's never seen anything like pro caps before. And so it's very interesting to see his reaction to this stuff. And it's very interesting to 
see how he reacted to to the various vanishes and the various appearances. And, you know, for anybody who's doubted this project, because I've talked before on the review show special, I actually talked about Pro Caps and I actually talked about some of the negative comments that people were making on the Magic Cafe about this about this product without even having it in their hands, without even seeing the tutorial, without even seeing the routines, without even seeing any of that, they were kind of being really negative about it. Um, it's very interesting to see, um, well, that's not really the case. You know, you can see that it's really good. You know, you can see that it's, it's a really strong, really, really strong, really, really strong set. And the routines that are included in there, they're designed to work in the real world. For me, this is a real worker. And for anybody who says, oh, it's not a real worker, it doesn't work in the real world, it's not going to get reactions. Honestly, I think you need to go out and try it because what we have here is a spectator like Matt. And, and the brief that I give Matt every single time I do one of these Matt tests is I say, I want you to be 100% honest. And he's sat in these Matt tests in the, uh, in the past and he's not... Uh, being particularly overly keen on particular tricks. And he said to me afterwards, oh, I feel really bad that I've been, you know, less than positive about this trick, but I'm just giving my opinion. And I said to him, look, I, that's what I want. The reason this mat test works is because you're giving your raw, honest, unfiltered opinions on, on magic. And you've got a very different opinion than a lot of magicians. And even as you learn magic, you're going to have a lot of different opinions because you see so much magic. But also, uh, you know, your background as a performer, as a as a dancer, as a choreographer, uh, you're going to have certain opinions that your average magician won't have. And it's fascinating hearing what Matt says about that. And this is the perfect example. So, you know, make of that what you will. If you've picked up Pro Caps, thank you very much on behalf of Lloyd Thank you. If you haven't picked up Pro Caps, well, that's absolutely fine. That's great. Hopefully, this has shown you just how strong it will be, or it can be. Uh, but now, really, the decision is yours. So you've got uh, a reaction there from Matt. You've seen a lot of the live performances. You've seen exactly what this set will do. Now it's over to you, and you guys get to decide exactly what you do with this. But a lot of you asked for it, so here it is. Uh, that was the Matt test on Pro Caps by Lloyd Barnes and Murphy's Magic. So there you go, guys. That's another mat test in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, you want to see more videos like this? It's simple. All you got to do, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow with another video. And don't forget, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and join the Netrix. It's www.thenetrix.com. We are open for business. And guys, I'm super excited with the content that's going up there. If you haven't checked, if you are a member and you haven't checked out the Wayne Goodman uh, courses, yeah, please do so because they are incredible. And guys, the best is yet to come. We've got a ton of more stuff coming up soon. So keep watching out for it. Thank you once again for joining me right here on Magic TV. I'll see you again soon. My name's Craig from Magic TV. Mm -hmm.